If you're watching this video, you probably already know what BFDI is, but if not, I'll give a quick rundown. Battle for Dream Island, or BFDI for short, is an animated series on YouTube created by Carrie and Michael Huang. The premise is based on Total Drama Island, where 20 objects get split into teams and have to compete in challenges to win a prize, being Dream Island. Every episode, one character gets voted out by the viewers to be eliminated from the competition, and this keeps going until there's only one left. The show has been going on for over 10 years and has gone through 4 seasons, sprouting a semi-large fan base and number of shows that use the same concept, like an anime insanity. With the show becoming more developed and the fan base growing larger every day, there's a number of secrets and conspiracies that have cropped up over the years. And in this video, I'll be covering some of them, going from least obscure to most obscure. Before we begin, I'd like to shout out Devin1TR on DeviantArt, as his iceberg inspired me to make this video in the first place, and to Tauno for helping me with a lot of the ideas on this iceberg. With that out of the way, let's begin! BFDIA 6 BFDIA 6 is the infamous unfinished 6 episodes of the second season of BFDI. It started production in 2013, but was soon put on hold due to the suspension of the channel's AdSense account. The show then went on an almost 4 year hiatus, with almost no word from Michael and Carrie as to what was happening. Until it was eventually released, being unfinished and almost completely unanimated, in 2016 with the revival of the channel's AdSense account. Profily In the 26th episode of the 4th season, BFB, a new character appears named Profiley, claiming they've been in the show the whole time, despite no one noticing them. What are you talking about? There's six of us left! I've been one of the gang forever! Right, guys? Uh, yeah, Profiley, uh... But the theory here is, what if they actually were there the whole time, and nobody really did see them at all? Deleted Scenes the BFDI series has a number of cut lines and scenes, two of the most notable being in Season 1, Episode 7, and Season 4, Episode 2. I'll play those now. Ha, huh, what's this? Oh I see. Some people volunteered to redesign the TLC to change its size. Unfortunately, they accidentally made it smaller. Now it can only hold four people. Because six people have already been eliminated, two will have to rejoin the game. One person per team. Grapes, go first. We're gonna pick Spongy, right? Absolutely! He would like that, wouldn't he? Woody! He? he wouldn't hate it, would he? Woody! Woody? He? Okay, you choose Woody. No, no, we choose Spongy! Too late. Okay, Yellowface, let's see those leadership skills in action. What should we all do? Need a more efficient way to burn through jawbreakers? Follow this easy four-step guide! What is this thing? What do I do with it? Give me that! La 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 One, collect a lot of saliva. Two, dump the saliva on the jawbreaker. Three, let it all sit for just a couple few seconds. Four, jump! Wait, Sabi! What if someone's inside? You could hurt them! It could be Foldy! What's so bad if it's Foldy? Okay guys, I think we have a new plan! Bozo In the first and only episode of the third season, IDFB, Golf Ball is a strange flashback upon entering the science museum and finding a wall teleporter, where she sees a possibly younger version of herself cowering behind a vase and a large figure with a club who calls her Bozo, before smashing the vase. It's currently unknown as to what story this is trying to tell and it may never be revealed. Robotti's Waterfall Another yet to be solved mystery begins in BFB Episode 2, where we see the character Robotti transport to a strange area with a waterfall. Only appearing two more times in the series so far, it's unknown where this location is, but it's believed by fans that it could be in Robotti's subconscious. BFDI II Connected Universe Several of the BFDI characters have had cameos in Inanimate Insanity, including Pencil, Cloudy, Coiny, and the Puffball Speaker Box. It's believed by fans that the shows happen in the same universe, despite being labeled as non-canon by the creators. Early Comics Before the animated series, BFDI was made in the form of several comic books, Total Fiery Island, Total Fiery Switch, and Total Fiery Points. Only several of these comics have been seen by the public eye, and several more of them are most likely lost to time. 
episode 225,555,555. This was a prank video made by Michael to trick people into believing that it was the final episode of the first season. Despite looking like it has no significance, three of the fake characters, Lai, Stapy, and Foldy, actually return and compete in BFB. Loser's Backstory In BFB 4, Loser says, That's okay. I didn't like paper mache anyway. What does this mean? What happened to the loser? Eggy on Beep According to Satomi, one of the four season's showrunners, Eggy was originally supposed to be on Team Beep, but was moved to free food later in production. Purple Face and non existy Again being revealed by Satomi, non existy a recommended character from Season 1, and Purple Face, also from Season 1, were supposed to be in BFB, but were ultimately swapped out. Purple Face, however, has become a recurring character in the more recent episodes. UFOs in the Oil City In the intro for IDFB, several UFOs can be seen circling the Oil City. It's possible that they may be the speaker boxes, as they took off in a UFO at the end of BFDI, but it remains unconfirmed. BFDIA 1 Alternate Cut This one should be self-explanatory. Dora's Pie Hole Rant In BFB1, after Lollipop tells Dora to shut her pie hole, Dora was originally supposed to have an incredibly long and elaborate rant that would shoot across the screen in the form of subtitles when she talks. However, this was cut from the episode by Michael for dampening the comedic timing. Real Plane in BFB15 Files in the files for BFB, especially the more recent episodes, a number of strange images and drawings can be found in the library and off-screen. One of the first known was in BFB 15, where an image of a Belgian C-119 plane can be found. This image is here because it's a base for one of the recommended characters, Flying Boxcar. Siva Gunner Takeover Siva Gunner is a channel that uploads mashups and remixes of video game music, made the trick first-time viewers into thinking that's the original song. On November 3rd, 2020, the channel uploaded a series of BFDI-related rips to celebrate BFB's third anniversary, made by a longtime BFDI fan. The rips contain samples from the show, as well as remixes of music from it. Character Generations in 2012, Carrie hosted one of the first object camps, where real people could play as characters and compete in challenges that Carrie came up with. In episode 1B, the order in which every BFDI character was created can be seen. Not much else to be said here. Original BFB3 before the BFB3 that we know came out, there was another version, written by Satomi, where the contest would be a reverse race, and the concept of non-existing not being a contestant would be mentioned. Though Satomi thought this episode was funny at the time, Michael criticized it for the lack of humor and it was remade into the BFB3 we know today. The storyboards for the scrapped episode can be found on YouTube. Satomi Symbol Within several of the BFB FLA files, there's a strange scribble-like symbol that can be found outside of the screen. This was revealed to be the signature of Satomi, who animated the scenes that these come from. Train Tracks 
On May 28, 2020, Michael shared a sketch on Twitter that he made in 2016 that depicted flour hanging off of some kind of railroad. It's unknown what this was originally made for, but it was later reworked into the railroad scene in recent BFP episodes. Carrot Cakes In BFP 26, during Cake at Stake, several of the carrot cakes Four uses as prizes actually become sentient and fly away from the contestants that got cursed during the last challenge. From the Temple of Doom! I'm not going near her! I'm out of here! Now we have to wonder, what separates these cakes from the official cake character that's competing in Teapot? What makes them different? Unreleased music. There are possibly hundreds of unreleased tracks Michael made for BFB over the years. It's unknown if they're ever gonna be released, but a small community on YouTube has attempted to rip audio from the episodes and remove the voices to create these songs. Albeit not perfectly, but it's the best we have for now. Meatball Asset In the credits of BFB16, a character named Meatball can be seen, recommended by Megan W. However, if you look at the asset in the FLA file, you can see that this asset was created in 2013, and originally recommended by a user named rj 3 full one Fans speculate that this character was originally supposed to be in BFDIA6, as this asset was made around the time that episode was in production. LOL Escapees During BFDIA 5C, when Ruby and Book are being chased by Eva Leafy through the forest, Grassy, Bell, and 8-Ball appear in the background, and later in the episode, Cloudy and Lightning appear, despite the fact that they are all supposed to be in the LOL. This may imply that they could have escaped somehow. BFB4 Ending In the end scene of BFB4, Eggy says, even though my story might not be super interesting to you, I decided I'll tell it anyway. So it all began when I was a baby egg, you know, an egg inside of an egg, exception if you will. It was very cozy, and at that moment, I realized I was pretty content. I had everything I needed. I didn't need to complain for more. So I thought, why shout? Why even say anything? As you see, that's how I as a small egg never really spoke much and blah blah blah. This raises the question, do objects hatch from eggs? Do objects lay eggs? Bubble Transformer In BFDI Episode 7, Yellowface is an advertisement for a bubble transformer, a device that allows whoever uses it to be transformed into a bubble. Four seasons later in BFP 21, Bubble says, so when I ordered a Boy Bowl Transformer from Yellowface all those years ago, this must have been where it came from! This is out the speculation that Bubble may have not always been a bubble. BFDIA5 Original Script This was a discovery by the user Blocky Roblox Cuzco on the BFDI wiki. With some digging into the edit the text page on the H-Twins website, Blocky claims to have found the original script for BFDIA5. Which is basically the same as the episode we know, but in only one part instead of five. According to the script, the ending of the episode would involve the gang staying in the Oil City, as also seen in the beginning of the BFDIA6 video. It's unknown why this episode was cut into five parts, but it was most likely to get more videos out, which in turn gave more revenue to Jack and Jellify. The Evil Leafy Maze Game the Evil Leafy Maze game is a game created by Michael for Halloween in 2013. The game is similar to Slenderman, where you must navigate a maze and avoid getting caught by Evil Leafy. Carrie recently hinted at adding audio to the game one day, but it's unknown if that will ever happen. Design Overhauls Between BFDIA and BFB, almost every recommended character got a new asset due to some of the old ones being poorly drawn. Some of these characters, like Tree and Fanny, received limbs, which they used to not have. In the context of the series, this means that they could have possibly grown these limbs, as Pin did the same in IDFB1 after losing hers. Samples and Music Several of Michael's songs made for BFB contain samples of meme music and other pop culture. For example, Black Comb and Hit It contain samples from Gangnam Style. Hit It also contains a sample from We Are Number One, as well as sound effects from Terraria and Kingdom Hearts.
Object Organ Contradictions. In BFDI 25, Eraser says, but erasers don't have brains. However, in BFB 18, flower can clearly be seen with a brain. What does this mean? Do some objects have organs while others don't? Do objects bleed? Woody's corpse. In BFDIA 2, when Puffball, Gelatin, and Needle are flying to Yoya Land, a piece of wood resembling Woody can be seen floating in the ocean. Fans speculate that this could be the discarded corpse of Woody, as he died in BFDI 25. Barf bag as a walking problem. This is a theory created by G. Grassy on the BFDI wiki. They say that Barf Bag may have some kind of walking disability due to the fact that they are constantly seen leaning against something or sitting down rather than standing, as well as that she has the most trouble walking down the buried forest in BFB 13. This is most likely just a coincidence, but hey, it's fun to think about. Okay, so that was the BFDI iceberg, and wow, that was a lot. I feel like I went through it kind of fast, so if like, if anyone wants like, deeper explanation, let me know and I can like, explain some of these deeper. And I definitely feel like I could have moved some of these around, like I could have moved the Evil Leafy Maze game, like, up a tier, but it's, I, I think it's fine how it is, so. If you liked this video, subscribe, like the video, do the, all that, whatever. And subscribe to Jack and Jellify, they make the show, it's good, go watch it. I'll see you guys in the next video.